Hey YouTube, this is the Fragrance Guy here and I'm excited to share my top 10 spring list for 2015. Kicking it off with number 10 is actually going to be a tie between two fragrances. Uh, both are very different but both are fougeres. The first one is from Amouage and it's aromatic with warm spices. With Amouage being from the Middle East, I truly feel that this fragrance represents their brand very well in that area in the fougere and um, this is the only fougere I have personally encountered that feels uh, rich in both fragrance and financial terms when it comes to being a fougere it's Opus 2 from the house of Amouage if I smell this on someone I will probably think subconsciously that uh, that person is rich and um, probably associated with a rich man from the Middle East because it really gives me with those spices that Middle Eastern touch but it still works well uh, for the spring it's it's uh, soft and round enough to wear in the spring at least in the Scandinavian weather where it can truly differ from day to day and the next one is from Parfums MDCI, this is Invasion Barbar. Now, I personally think that Opus 2 has the edge over Invasion Barbar. Uh, I like Invasion Barbar, but sometimes it's just too much, too harsh in your face. But uh, it's still one of the best fougeres in the market. So, coming in at number 10 is these two fragrances. I'm going to watch Opus 2 and Parfums MDCI, Invasion Barbar. All right, number nine. This fragrance I really love wearing in the cold spring days, especially if it's cloudy or rainy. This fragrance is perfect for that. This is an herbal green vetiver fragrance. It has cedarwood, incense, oak moss, and spices, and some other notes. I believe this was my first niche purchase, and uh, this house will always have a special place in my heart. Coming in at number nine is... French Lover from the house of Frederick Moll. Really, really well made uh, vetiver fragrance. Uh, comes highly recommended. Okay, guys, moving along here is number eight. If you're looking for a transparent, refreshing rose based fragrance with rhubarb along with tea, lemon, orange, spices, and fruity notes that is neither feminine or masculine, then I recommend. If you can read this, this is from the House of Hermes. This is Rose Ikebana. Now, when you hear rose, you're probably thinking of all the other roses there there are on the market that might... I mean, if you don't like rose, then uh, you might be frowned upon this, but give it a shot. It's more of a clean, nice fragrance that um, just works perfect for the spring. Okay, moving on to number seven is, well, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but in Sweden, spring isn't always warm. As a, as a matter of fact, the weather can be very different from day to day. This is a very sexy fragrance that will give you compliments that works great for those chilly days. I recommend that you try this on your skin to see if it lasts. For some, they have some longevity issues, but this is... Oud Wood from the house of Tom Ford. What they've done here is they've really made Oud as safe as it can be and as sexy as it can be. And they've stripped away the skanky part of Oud, which a lot of people probably will not like. And they've kept the sexy part. And uh, yeah, I get compliments almost every time I wear this. So really love this one. Okay, moving on to number... Six, okay, how come I don't see anybody talking about this fragrance uh, in the fragrance Facebook groups? This is a leather fragrance from the master perfumer Jean-Claude Elena. With a track record of Jean-Claude Elena, I was disappointed before I even tried the fragrance because I was convinced that it, he was going to create a watered-down, worthless leather fragrance. Boy, was I wrong. Now, I don't normally like to wear... Uh, leather fragrances for the spring, at least not heavy ones, but the master perfumer pulled it off. He created a leather that works all year round, even warm days. This is Hermes Cure d'Ange. 
And uh, this is one of the best leather-based fragrances I have ever come across, and I've tried a lot. Even though it's a leather fragrance, it's so watery and clean that you could uh, spray this right on after a shower and it would be refreshing. It has that heliotrope, which can tend to smell like almond along with violet, which gives it uh, a very refreshing and sexy twist. Even if you don't like leathers, I really recommend this one because it is such a different uh, soft suede-like leather that is easy to love. Jean-Claude Elena is famous for those uh, soft transparent fragrances that sadly doesn't last nor project. But I'm happy to say that even though this is not in your face, it has a really good projection and surprisingly well uh, longevity. So coming in at number six is Hermes Cure d'Ange. Okay, moving on to number five. This is a Vetiver-based fragrance that was launched in 2008, and in the same year, it won the Fifi Award Fragrance uh, of the Year for Men. It's a very soft and extremely well-made citrus vetiver fragrance, and uh, you're seeing this probably on other YouTube reviewers' uh, top lists. Uh, the vetiver and patchouli here is very smooth and acts as the base notes, but the notes in the forefront are those of citrus, more specifically, lemon, bergamot, and mandarin. The middle notes are coriander, cardamom, and pink pepper. So guys, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is Armani's Vetiver Babylon. Highly recommend this one. This is a really nice, elegant fragrance. Okay, number four is a quite uh, new purchase for me, but I instantly like this, so I picked it up. When I think of spring, I think of green, woody, green slash woody, herbal, and citrus slash fruity fragrances. This is a fragrance that is totally under the radar, and um, not a lot of people are talking about it, especially not on the Facebook groups. And it just screams spring, summer in a way that only Italian fragrances can do, and you probably know what brand it is. Uh, this is old school, but absolutely not dated. This is marketed to men, and I totally see why. Even though I, it could work very well for women, I see why they marketed this to men. This is a strong and long-lasting fragrance that starts out zesty with a rich body. It is not transparent, and I am happy about that. After a while, the zestiness calms down, and the notes are um, more even. When I smell this, I think of an Italian gangster in a barbershop. In the description, I will post a link to a video clip to Robert De Niro that perfectly illustrates my point. So this is Fiero from the House of Zerzhov. Really, really like this one. And uh, you can't go wrong in the spring and even summer with this one. So um, yeah, Zerzhov Fiero. Moving on to number three is... One of the best citrus-based fragrances I have tried lately. And this is from the house of Lilabo, and maybe you already know what it is, but it has a rich creaminess. It's not like a sandalwood type of creaminess, but more of a citrus creamy. And that comes from the orange blossom layered with the grapefruit and bergamot on top of that. And it just smells divine. There's vetiver and musk in this fragrance that are very smooth and a pinch of sweetness from the amber and vanilla. Coming in at number three is Bergamon 22 from the House of Lelabo. And, you know, I can't get this in Sweden unless I order online uh, or go to a store. So I actually got a decaf from one of the guys in my group. And I really, really like this one. Just a nice green citrus fragrance that uh, I'm probably going to buy in the future. Okay, guys. Number two is going to surprise all of you. It's a brand new purchase. Uh, I mean, I, I've tried it over a year, but uh, it's new to me. I've had it like two months or maybe. And it's one of the underdogs from the Italian house of Zerzhov. This is so good that it instantly became one of my absolute favorites in my entire collection. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is talking about it. I don't even think there's a single review of it on YouTube. This is an iris dominating fragrance with Bulgarian rose, cedarwood, vanilla bourbon, and vetiver. There's also lemon, which I really pick up on, and this lemon is a sweet, smooth lemon, almost like a luxury soap lemon. Everything comes together like 
one single note. Even though I can pick up a few notes, it's so well blended, it's almost like a single note. It lasts a really long time and projects perfectly. I easily prefer this over Iris from the XJ1717 line. I think it's more worth its price and you actually get a lot more value from it. And uh, to me, it doesn't smell like a perfume. It's more like an extremely expensive body product. And that's saying it as a compliment. And uh, I mean, try this on your skin and see if you like it. For some, they don't pick up on that lemon. I do. Uh, for some, it's going to be like maybe too much of iris. And uh, so, so try it on your skin. Don't spray it on paper and don't just spray it on your wrist. Give it a full wearing because it was then that I really discovered how beautiful this fragrance is. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a really nice fragrance uh, that you can use for layering when you really want to amp up the iris in a fragrance or just want to add iris along with some uh, lemon. Okay, this is... Uh, I'm going to show you the bottle. I'm so carried away about this fragrance. I'm actually wearing it today. This is Ibitira. Of course, I have to mention what fragrance they are. Yeah, okay, guys. So, number two is Zerjoff Ibitira. Number one is, I mean, I don't even need to say it. You probably already know what it is. It's neroli, bergamot, vetiver, cardamom, and a bunch of other notes that makes this, I mean, the way it's blended, how unique it is, and all of that. To me, this is a 10 out of 10. It's perfect for spring. It's the ideal season of the year to wear it, and people will love the way you smell. It's one of the best citrus green scents you will ever come across if, if you like that category. And when I say citrus, I don't think of, of those uh, typical lemon fragrances with some zestiness to it. At the top of the throne, it's the one and only Serge of Neo. I really, really like this one. And I got small bottles uh, that I got um, when I travel around from the Discovery set. And... Um, comes highly recommended if you don't if you haven't tried this please try this one it's so so well made and it's just just like Ibitira to me this is more like a luxurious body product more than uh, a, a perfume so uh, comes highly recommended guys I hope you enjoyed this awesome list for spring 2015 as you can see the list is completely different for the most part from last year. A lot of new fragrances. And uh, tell me in the comments what you think of these. Have you tried them? Do you want to try them? And if you like the this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's it, guys. Have a great spring.